Howdy. It's dark when we come in here this weekend because we're a little late getting here, but we're at Sunset Beach, North Carolina. I'm David, a witness for God and uh, your friend. And I just hope that uh, wherever you're at, your day's going good. The Lord's been good to me and Miss Annie, and we're having a few days off down here. And I just wanted to share this beautiful intercoastal waterway with you. This is our favorite place in the world besides home for us to come relax for a few days. Just want to share a piece of scripture with you right quick. And uh, we'll uh, read from Genesis chapter 1, one of my favorite books of the Bible. It's back when God was making all this stuff the first time. This is in uh, verse 20, and it says, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life, and the fowl that may fly above the earth and in the open firmament of heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, after their kind and after every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply on the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, creeping thing, and beasts of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind and the cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he them. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. He made all this, and I just think it's beautiful. Satan's tried to mess it up, but that's all right. God's still in charge. He's still in charge of your life, too, particularly if you'll let him be in total charge of it. So I ask today that look around you. It may be raining where you're at. The sun may be shining. I don't know what your individual situations are, but there's something good still in your life, and that's the Lord above. He'll be your helper. He'll be your salvation. Just believe on the name of Jesus Christ. Find his word somewhere. Repent of your sin. And you'll just have a whole lot better day than you would have had otherwise. You just try it and you'll see. We'll be making a few posts this week. I want you to see this place. I wish I could bring all of you down here for a week or so. God bless you. Have a good day. And know that God loves you. And Miss Ann and I do too. Amen.